Hello, this is Bradley Needham. I'm going to be talking about casting in C++. Now there's four types of cast operators in C++. Static cast, reinterpret cast, const cast, and dynamic cast. There's also the old style or C style of casting, but its use is deprecated because its syntax makes it hard to find in code, and also since it can perform all of the conversions of static, reinterpret, and const cast, it makes it more difficult to identify the intention of the cast. So I'm not going to be talking about it, nor will I be talking about dynamic cast because it relates to runtime type information, and I will talk about that in another video. So let's go ahead and see why we might want to use static cast. So static cast is used to make a conversion between two types where the conversion is actually known. So what does that mean? So let's say we have a class rational, and the class rational is going to represent a rational number or a fraction. So it's going to have a numerator and a denominator. And when I create a rational, I'm going to pass in the numerator. And if I don't want to pass in the denominator, I want to initialize that to 1 so that we can just pass in a whole number if you want. All right, something else I might want to have on my rational is the ability to get its representation as a double. So I'm going to provide a member function here called get double, and that's going to simply return my numerator divided by my denominator. Now some of you may have already noticed a problem here, but let's have a look at what that is. So rational r, I'm going to create a new rational of say 3 fourths, and then I want to print out the double representation. All right, let's compile and run and see what happens. So my bill succeeded, but if you look down here at my output, my output is zero not really what I wanted. And the reason for that is if we look at this expression here, this expression is an integer divided by an integer, which of course is going to result in an integer. And therefore, 3 divided by 4 is 0. What I want to do is I want to somehow force this expression to do double division. And the way I do that is by casting one of these integers into a double for the expression. And this is exactly what static cast is used for, converting one type to another with a known conversion. Okay, now I get the result that I'm looking for, 0.75. So that's where we use static cast. The compiler knows that you can convert an integer to a double, and therefore he performs that operation for you. Where might be a place that we don't have a known conversion, where static cast might not work? Well, let's say, for example, I have an int x equal 42, and I want to convert to a double, but somewhere in my code I get lost and I'm thinking, oh, I want to convert and create a double star, a pointer to a double, and I'm going to use static cast to convert to a double star the address of x. Well, static cast will not make this conversion for you. Basically, he says you cannot convert, there is no conversion that exists that goes from an int star to a double star. And that's a good thing, right? Because basically, we're going to take a double is usually larger than an integer. And we would take memory that is referenced here by an integer, and then we'd try to reference it by something that would be looking at a larger piece of memory than the integer actually owns. So this would be bad. So it's a good thing that static cast doesn't do this for us. However, there may be a case where you do want to represent a chunk of memory that is currently referenced by an integer or an integer type to a different type. Let's say an example of an array of integers. And I actually want to look at these using an unsigned char, or a byte. Now let's say we try our static cast again. We pass a, the name of the array is same as the address. And we still get that same problem, right? The problem is I cannot initialize a variable of type unsigned char with an L value of integer array. So what I'm doing here is I need to tell the compiler that what I really want to do is reinterpret the memory that is being pointed to at A and actually have it be pointed to by an unsigned char. So now this works. Okay, reinterpret cast is showing my intention in this case. I might want to show my intention again. Let's say you tried to show your intention of converting now a double. A, you actually want to do your conversion that we were looking at before. The problem here is, again, we have an issue. And the reason why is there's no way to convert int to double using a reinterpret cast. A reinterpret cast is for reinterpreting where memory points, not basically saying a standard conversion like casting it a double. So again, this is showing your intention of what you're trying to do. So what I really want here is a static cast. And then of course the static cast works. Okay, so that's reinterpret cast and static cast. 
where might I use const cast? Well, one of the things we noticed here in this class rational is this class rational actually is not const correct. So if I don't actually own this class, so let's say this class rational comes from a library that I actually don't own or it's code that I can't change, but I want to write my code as const correct. So I, of course, make sure that when I take a rational reference that I don't plan on changing to a function, I make sure that I take it by const. If I now want to print out the value as represented by a double, I run into a problem. Because the class is not const correct, the member function double is not actually accessible to me. Now if I had access to the class, the rational class, I could simply specify the class here as const. This would then make the class const correct since double does not make any change internal to the rational number and so that now my print function actually compiles and I can call it down here and I get my output still of 0.75. But if I do not have access to this class and I cannot make changes to it, how can I maintain the const correctness of my function without somehow changing this class? And that's where the const cast comes in. Now I can cast away the const in this case and my call to get double works. Now just like with the other cast, the const cast just removes const and therefore it makes my intention clear here. I'm not trying to do anything else except for cast away const in this case. If I put in a static cast, the compiler won't compile. It says no, you cannot have a static cast in this case because all you're trying to do is cast away const. Same thing if I put in a reinterpret cast, again the compiler will not compile the code. Since what I am trying to do is do const, the compiler holds back, only compiles the code once I have const cast, makes it clear here what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Okay, that's all I have for this session.